Hola guys! Hey, what's up? How's it going? This is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at the price action of QQQ SPY and we'll take a look into Tesla and NVIDIA for this update and then later in the afternoon and throughout this weekend, I'll be covering a lot of good stuff guys. Alright, with that, please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful and please remember none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Alright, let's kick it off all right starting off with qqq what are we seeing right off the bat we are seeing qqq tried to go up today sort of trying to fill this gap right that it created yesterday now again this is a massive gap guys this is this shows you how much selling how much selling pressure is in the market right now like even if qqq tried to go up and there are reasons why you know this these indices try to fill those gaps because there are unfilled orders in the pre-market which let's say someone had an order during the market open to be filled during you know between this price range but things are selling off in the pre-market right so market makers have obligation to fill in all the big orders usually now and that's why sometimes price does tries to go up but if they are still seller sitting which is what happened right it they didn't even let it go up they were like damn it just sell it sell it sell it right and so pre pretty much any gap fill that was supposed to happen was rejected right at that resistance right and we are seeing continuation to the downside now this is guys definitely problematic i mean this doesn't make qqq bullish right i mean yeah so this is what the thing is guys it's below 20 and 50 days moving average and here we have and actually let me set few settings here guys let me actually go to the settings or um you know let me actually turn on my part of the indicator the trading direction uh, here we go let that line show up yeah here we go so our line as well up there guys is red right so which means qqq is bearish like this is what the sentiment is now we do have some support 357 which is right now double stacked support but q gapped up pretty much started selling off let's see how it reacts here and which was you know expected with rsi oversold now it's again trying to just sell off as the market is coming to a close right um i don't think there's going to be any upside for the day so guys yeah this is it like since the time you can see our you know uh let me actually reduce some you know let me turn off this stuff here all right here we go so since the time we turned red over here on our trading indicator it started to sell off and then you just use level by level but your sentiment has turned bearish already over here on the hourly interval so qq is guys technically you know um a bearish right now let's take a look at now where can it come down to its last line of defense guys yeah it's 354 and you know um yeah guys market doesn't just go always up there are macros you have to look for with the money the economy the how the cash flow is working where the sentiment is and don't just trust the media and the analysts for everything right they told everyone to keep buying here as well right market is just going to keep going up nothing is going to happen right because they want to sell it to you right um not you but uh, outside their circle of bigger hedge funds right now i know many many people are still in denial right some would comment that oh you know it's nothing things will still go up it's just a you know normal sell off sure there will be pullbacks but guys don't be in denial okay grow up right if you're if you want to be always in denial right with oh the media saying that because it just shows you that you don't want to learn the stuff okay learn it for real and i'm not saying to anyone particular i'm just saying once i receive some of those comments where people are just so much in denial that they don't want to look at the other side just because they hold their position because they listen to the media and they bought it where because media told them to buy here and they bought it and now they still want to believe them and so they're going to take out frustration on me on my comments all right guys go and find some other channel not over here if you don't want to learn here i'm i'm very dedicated to teaching the right stuff and that's what comes with a lot of heat as well and that's also comes with 
not being on the group side of thinking okay and i'm fine with that but i will not entertain you know um bad mouthing okay so yeah i'm not here for any other reason i'm here to provide a valuable educational content and to to teach people the things correctly the right thing okay now let's take a look at spy so spy is already negative uh, for the day spy had a weaker like guys this is <laughs> i won't be surprised if it comes down to 422 dollars now it is it has broken this level of 432 after such a massive sell-off some pullbacks may surely come but look at the distance we have maintained now from 20 days moving average so any pullback is still a candidate to be shorted to the downside and sure it's uh, this was the support right guys that we were talking about and if you want these automatic levels indicators guys you can join my trading bots membership and i'll get you the access to this indicator and these levels will automatically show up on your chart now the next level of support is right as we said 422 the good one for the recent times is at 417 let's see if we'll come down there there are many gaps that spy has to fill down here that i'm just drawing on my chart and these are never ending gaps so just keep that in mind taking a look at hourly interval on spy our indicator is bearish um let me actually yeah and as i'm adding more functionality to my indicator you can see that it's taking a little bit sweet time to load right so i have to think if i should start adding in different indicators different functionalities but then the thing is that my viewers who have free account on trading view and they have limit of how many indicators they can add then yeah like i want to make sure that you don't like if you have a free account on trading view you don't run into any issues of indicator limits right so i'm trying to add everything in one indicator um but i'll see if something better i can do okay so yeah so spy guys it has already broken at least for now the the low of the day and so it's looking weaker than nasdaq for sure today right so it's bearish guys below 20 and 50 and 200 hours moving average as well all right let's take a look at now tesla and i called out some plays on tesla and nvidia today as well in my discord channel and guys whenever you see if there are too many lines showing up you can always do a setting based on your taste um you know you like it's like from 1969 i don't want to be from on tesla you know i can just be from 2022 that's timeline is fine enough and you can filter out the levels based on you know how much you want to see um, because these are the important critical levels based on the recent price action as well which is also self-adaptive my indicator is self-adaptive right okay so with tesla let's talk about first so we are below 20 and 50 days moving average now the next level of potential support is at 241 dollars and 11 cents now let's see if we come down there or not um so but guys yeah be careful here especially because um tesla once it starts picking one direction it then just picks it and it has picked one direction to the downside now technically though tesla is still in that bullish channel which can be seen right over here this is the long-term bullish channel so i won't be surprised even if tesla comes down to 220 dollars um okay so here's another thing i actually want tesla to fall why because if it if it gets around this 200 days moving average i won't actually start a long-term position in tesla which is different than day trading but I want to start a long-term position in Tesla. So I want to start average cost down. Well, I don't have any position on Tesla, but start building some long-term position. Why? Because I want to get out of NEO. That's why. I want to move my money out of NEO into Tesla. Guys, yes. I have decided by the end of the year, I will move all of my capital, whatever is in NEO, out into Tesla. Yes, I want to do that. NEO is not working out as in benefit of a shareholder. They're a great company, but not a great investment. I want to move my money out. All right. So let's now um, take a look at hourly interval. And then I'll also go over the play that I called out on Tesla today. So on hourly interval as well, guys, you can see our indicator right over. And I can show you much more clarity. Let me turn off the another one. Yeah. So our indicator on and, you know, um, 
you can reach out to me on Discord if you want a little bit more information on uh, which interval these indicators for particular instruments are the best to look at because every instrument has its own style but this indicator can be used on all time frames uh, but when you get more experienced on individual instruments as well you will have your preference as well so for me i know tesla on hourly interval the, i live by it pretty much and so same in on nvidia all these big cap tech stocks like uh, on hourly interval is once this thing turns red guys it's the sentiment is pretty much to the downside now you can see it went down came back up line was red rejected 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 now let's take a look at and guys yeah it's it's bearish you can also see it's below 20 and 50 hours moving average there right so all right let's actually jump down to the five minutes interval now i and again guys this is something not the part of membership but i just do it on the side just to share when i'm taking any positions so on my discord channel i shared that tesla five minute chart uh, this is trading assistant indicator the red and green line that you see that any retracement is getting rejected so far keep an eye on this level which is where this indicator is if volume remains low and the red line doesn't break tesla will stay below that for the day blue line is the vwap you so you just use the good judgment right but so this was the rejection level the red line as soon as our indicator turned red and look what happened it didn't break above it right that was the line of resistance and tesla plummeted so th this is how you know um, at different intervals you can use this trading assistant indicator as well right um yeah all right guys so this is with tesla let's take a look at nvidia so nvidia i called out a play on this as well um i'll take a look at that with you guys in just a second let's first talk about nvidia on the daily level so let me turn it on the other indicator as well so guys here we have nvidia selling off jensen huang selling all of his company here and um, 20 and 50 days moving average is below the price right now so we have these two levels that were sure it tried to it's still not filled that gap okay but yeah this is rejecting at 419 one of our resistance level and the next down level is to 402 403 or 402 potentially and if that breaks 373 is the next steady level support now let's jump into the hourly interval here and you can see that nvidia again the indicator right turned red didn't even catch up all the way there just been falling right nvidia on hourly interval is still bearish after rsi is oversold these cool offs are expected what we just saw today but these are just the rebounds in the downtrend nothing more than that now if i take you down to the 30 minutes let's say so you can see that wherever it has tested this red line again it rejected we have seen just the fall continuous fall right now on nvidia i called out this level let me actually bring it up i called out this level of 421 right up here where our res levels resistance is that my indicator automatically marks which is right over here 421 dollars level and this is where what it is right and um we yeah since then we have been just falling off right um we have come down came down to again the, the low of the day 412 we got bought back up there but we are still selling off now so nvidia is bearish week like the rebound that came today in the morning was just a rebound a feeble rebound after such a massive sell-off from last two days well nvidia has been selling off forever now like more than two weeks this thing is like every hedge fund is selling it guys right now now yeah and guys yeah cool off may happens but right now there is no catalyst for nvidia to keep going up from here right there's media has started sorry media has stopped talking about nvidia because all the hedge funds have made their money and i'm unfortunately saying this guys again but they made other people you know regular people buy it up here on the top because nvidia was going to go to six hundred thousand dollars you know um yeah it's it's unfortunate and sad but guys that's the unfortunate reality of the market you know it's about you know a lot of things right all right guys this is all for this video i hope you found it helpful and valuable if you're interested in my indicators and trading bots uh please join the membership um and you will have access to all of it all right guys have, have a good one and i'll see you in my next videos take care bye